Hi. Day two of lockdown. Um, we're going to be keeping it short and doing uh, building this, actually, just to keep it kind of entertaining and interesting. A cardboard pinball table, courtesy of, of my lovely wife. Now, before we can do, do the fun stuff, we've got to do our, our team reflector duties and, our, and our, our husbandly duties first. So, school work! Tea! More schoolwork! Team Reflector! <laughs> right, now that's sorted out, uh, let's do the fun part. So, this is the Cardboard Constructions of Pinball Table or pinball machine, should I say. I'm not sure if this is the same people. Designed in Sunny Brighton, tag us with Fizz Creations. It's by Fizz Creations. Um, or at least it's distributed by them. Now, there is um, some guys on YouTube at the moment that I'm subscribed to who are doing a similar concept, a, a cardboard pinball table. And actually, um, I was going to make a cardboard pinball table for Eco Arcades, but before, did the maths and it wasn't really commercially viable for, for me to, to do so. I'd have to charge too much and people wouldn't want to pay that. So obviously these guys have, you know, can mass produce. So, so it, this is a lot cheaper for people. Um, I believe this is from maybe Debenhams or British Home Stores, I'm not sure. But inside, uh, we have got some, oh, that's cool. So we've got some tape um, some elastic bands. Um, a ball. It's not a normal marble though, but okay. Um, and some looks like some pins to put it together. Um, we've got our instruction sheet, and I believe this is just in, yeah, so these are press out sheets. Um, you know, single pieces of cardboard, press out sheets, and uh, you know, yeah, you just put it together step by step, I think. So I think we'll do this as a time lapse and uh, see, see what it lo looks like, and then we'll show you some gameplay. And uh, we'll, you know, take it from there, really. So here we go. Okay, and here we are. Um, to give you a scale, I, I've got sort of medium man hands really. They're not massive, but they're not small either. Um, that'll give you an idea of the kind of scale. We're talking, I think this is an A5. So there you go, A4 piece of paper. So slightly bigger than A4 piece of paper. Um, how was the experience? Well, I mean, for starters, these instructions, they're, um, they're, they're well, they're, they're hot garbage is what they are. Um, it's, as you can see, they're just a load of photos. Um, and not to slag off the photographer, I think they did an okay job, just using my photographer eye, if you will. But they've been photocopied, you know, relatively low res onto this paper, and you can't see it. And even some of the instructions where the photographers, you know, show it happening like here you can't see anything because there's loads of shadows that you know it's not lit properly so you can't really see what they're doing it you know there's, e there's even entire sections for one of the pieces of card missed out and i've checked several times to see if the pages are stuck together and they're not they're even numbered at the bottom here but yeah it's not the printing is not brilliant i mean you can tell by the numbers i mean look there's you know six is there and then like seven's like coming off the bottom of the page there. So yeah, these are just, yeah. it Not bad for someone like me who kind of tinkers with this kind of stuff all the time, but you know, you can work it out. But it, say you got it as a gift for a kid, um, as something to do, you know, to keep uh, during half term or something. 
they're not going to really be able to fold them, I don't think. Um, yeah, big, big X in the box for these things, uh, feedback for, for the makers, sort your instructions out, guys. Um, but once you're done, you get you get this pinball table. This bit goes on the top there, but I'm just removing it so you can see the actual pinball table. And yeah, the, the actual build experience was okay. Um, I think with it being, I mean, you can see it's slightly wobbly because, you know, the nature of cardboard, it bends. Um, you could spend some time, I was thinking you could spend some time, you know, modifying this. Um, like it, it's wobbly just because of the way there's a cardboard a bracing thing through the middle and it kind of bends the whole thing a little bit uh did in my experience but what you could do this is these are all flat surfaces here so you could actually um you know if you got like a little piece of wood and you could glue it down like that with, with some you know resin or super glue and it'll go rock solid and then it won't move at all so you know there's, there's little things you can do um, I've learned a lot about how, you know, the basics of how like flippers work. I never realized how flippers work before. Um, obviously in normal pinball tables, they'd be um, magnetic, um, you know, electromagnets um, that, that flick them. I've seen the inside of a pinball table at the Play Expo. Hi, hi replay events. Link, link up, link down there somewhere. But building this has actually given me some ideas for tables that i could build and that's something you could do you could use this structure here because this play surface as you might have seen on the um time lapse there is just a, a sheet of cardboard so you could there's nothing to stop you taking this sheet of cardboard out drawing around it to get the right size onto another piece of cardboard and just making your own tables you know and um, that's something you could do if you're into this kind of a thing which i think is quite a nice little touch um i mean it, it's doesn't work in a, an amazing way uh you know it, it is what it is it's cardboard it's not going to last through you know rigorous playing and things but yeah you just got a little um elastic band um activated plunger here and it goes up and as you can see if you go too hard it'll flick all over the place so i another modification i, I might do to this one is put a, a much weaker elastic band in the actual plunger here but because it's kind of hard to do it but there you go and you got a little bit of a you know it it's it's never it's not going to win any awards for um you know robust ability and things and obviously with this this has just got an elastic band to flick it down there might be a way of modifying it so the elastic band flicks it up um i'd have to think about that but you know it's um it's just a bit of fun, really, isn't it? And, you know, I quite enjoyed it, um, building this thing. From a mental health perspective, um, for you guys who are fellow mentals, um, getting something like this is a very good way of practicing the whole mindfulness technique, which I always thought was a lot of hippie crap, but it, it does help. You know, you're just concentrating on an activity and... and sort of hear it feeling the car you know being aware of what you're doing you know feeling the cardboard and hearing the clicks and the clunks and you know um the various sensations and stuff of uh, you know pressing it through the card and stuff like that it sounds silly but it does work it's a it's a well-known and well-practiced thing in the nhs teaching you about mindfulness so something like this you know if if you like that I did find it helped a little bit. Uh, my mind was all over the place this morning uh, and it did help me focus my thoughts enough to actually, you know, get on a camera and uh, make this little vlog. Um, but yeah, I think that'll just about do it for this vlog. Let's see if I can catch, catch it. Let's hang on. Let's see if I can uh, catch it on the flippers. Yeah. So, boink. Nope. Oh, can you catch it on the flippers? Oh, you can. There you go. And then give it a bash up and see if I can get a bash up. There you go. So you get the... Hey, there we are. Overall, probably out of 10. Um, for the build itself, I'd give it about a 7 or an 8 maybe. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. Um, these basically set them on fire. <laughs> but it has rekindled the love of, of making... Um, stuff out of cardboard and, and upcycling again so i'm going to be back in the shed as soon as it's not minus three out there but yeah that's that's it for today's daily vlog hope you enjoyed 
Until next time, I've been Moobit, you've been Awesome Source, and I'll see you at the next video. ta -ra! Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your f***ing hands! I like to move it, move it. Fit, fit, fit.